Welcome back, people. Second episode, perfect pair of Fridays. Here we go, we're gonna get us some peas. Let's go, people. So right here, we're gonna get into a DA1, Derek Anderson. Uh, he's actually made a couple comments on my Instagram, which I appreciate that, thank you for the love. A beautifully crafted sneaker when you get into these PEs. Older PEs, I'm gonna say. A lot of the newer stuff is not being crafted as well as they did these sneakers, so. A little, little low eight joint with the one on the top. Again, another one made for Derek Anderson. Uh, again, a lot of these people call like the, the loyal team. Now, this was a, a beautifully crafted shoe. Not a lot of people are really looking for these older PEs. I am. Another E. Jones joint. You know, I keep it clean. I wear the shoe. Don't get twisted because you see this being right. I wear the shoe, but E. e. Jones, like Eddie Jones, got a lot of real good PEs, if you ask my opinion. Wonderful shoe right here. A little Jeremy Lin joint. You know, I'm not too, I think it's like the hyper rev or hyper some crap, but anyway, it's one of those Christmas shoes. You know, you see the little, oh, there it is. Hyper fuse, sorry people, I was close. But now it is what it is, Christmas shoe. I mean, it's a dope shoe, but it can't really wear this too often except for Christmas time, so put that away for now. now a lot of people know about SVSMs, SVSM 8. Uh, this one here is one of my more coveted of the SVSM joints. Full 360 bubble on this shoe. And again, I ain't stopped loving brawn, folks. That's all I'm gonna say. And this one to me is kind of the forgotten, you know, lost soul here. And this is a Jason Kidd. I got shoes, people, you know what I mean? I ain't stopped. So Jason Kidd, you know, this joint, it's red. And I can see that, that burgundy color that was kind of released to the public. Gray toe that was released to the public. One of my favorite joints, I keep it right. That's still nice and perfect on it. I ain't peeled that off yet, you know what I mean? But again, I've worn it a couple times. I keep it right when I take it to sneaker shows. I can't really call this a, a true, you know, PE shoe, but it is a SMU, just staring at you. A lot of people would say it's a PE. It's a SMU special. Thank you, Clark, for designing such a wonderful shoe. Move right here to the Reggie Bush. Got the seamlesses, and they're the one piece, whatever you like to call it. Again, this right here, I have never seen another one. Yeah, someone has it, I'd like to see it. I love this shoe, I love what it stands for. It's got the Trojan going on it. All these little nice hints. I'm sure Mark Smith did this, so big props to him. One of my more favorite PEs when it comes to the duck joints. This is my most coveted, I would say, of my collection. You ain't seen this on my foot yet, so there's a reason why. There's certain shoes I really do you know, adore. I like looking at that sole looking nice and clean, as you see. And people do know how old this shoe is, so if you do your homework, I wish I had the white pair. I don't. Crazy money for it now, and I'm never going to pay it. So people think I'm going to, but I won't. We'll step right over to this one. Another one of those SVSM Irish joints. I love these shoes. <clears throat> A lot of people don't understand that I actually collect these shoes, and you're going to see it as we go through here. A lot of the shoes that I like to collect is this colorway. In Bron Bron, this is where it started. So I'm one of those people, you know what I'm saying? If I like to keep it, it's not keeping it legit or OG, but it's understanding your history of where and what and who and how. That That's how. So that's all I can say. This one here, this is another one of those big bangers. Everyone always talking about when it comes to SVSMs with the green. I'll, I'll show you the gold on the other one. I've got both versions is the best way to say it. So still a beautifully crafted shoe and again, that's all I'm saying, that tongue. A few things people say, oh, I've seen everything. No, you haven't. Because you ain't never seen that before. This is called a Chrome Low 8. Many people talk about it. They hear about it. But now you've seen it. Had this shoe a long time, people. When George Kill came to the house, it was sitting in one of them orange boxes. So, I'll let you see it now. I said there were some shoes I couldn't show. Here's one. I'm not going to give you a whole lot of history on it because I don't need to. Google. <laughs> That's all I can say, folks. The one that should be talked about the most when it comes to the Oregon joints, and the reason why is because without this on the back of it, would everybody be going crazy for these shoes? Absolutely not. They released a nine that was just like this shoe. And what everybody do? They let it sit on the shelf. But if they had released that nine with this on the back, would it have sat on the shelf? Nope. That's what's sad is they think hype, hype sells. And hype does sell. But hype shouldn't sell because this shoe, and I wish I, wish I had the other one sitting right here with me right now, but I don't. 
and they're the same. I mean, it's everyone want to talk about it's such a different shoe. It's not, folks. I promise you. Just, just that. But it is the most underrated of all of them because this isn't the one you see on everybody's feet. You see the three. You see the four. Everyone talking about gotta have that duck man. Gotta have that duck man. But don't pay tribute to this shoe. The original. We'll just keep working through here, and I mean, you're gonna see player exclusives, player exclusives. I mean, to me, it's it's a cool thing to have hardwood classics. This shoe here means a lot to me just because of the actual fact of what it is. A lot of people don't know. This is one of my favorites to wear. You see, I got it ready to go. Never wore it, being honest. There's a reason why it's hard to wear, difficult with all the oranges. So when it comes to having some of these PEs and player exclusives and stuff like that, they're not always easy, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. We really gonna wear this every day? I mean, I'm not a wrestler. I'm not a pro wrestler. I mean, these are like, Look like I need a cape. So I just, I can't do it. But I love, I love knowing, knowing the fact and when people come to me and say, yo, you ain't got this. Yeah, I do. Again, this is my favorite. I own two of these when it comes to the player exclusives on the SVSMs. This is my favorite of all. And the reason why is because the favorite LeBron is the two. This shoe here, that's a ball shoe, people. They, they, you tripping, man. I mean, just take this strap off or leave the strap on. It don't matter. But to me, that's a hoop shoe. Support up top. All this nice cushioning inside here. I mean, there's a reason why they make these shoes this way. And this one here is an actual PE. Hit the peach jam. So, a lot of people know about it. Some don't, some do. It is what it is. It's made for a cause. You know, you're not going to see a lot of these, you know, team dimes. You know, so it is what it is. It's... It's having shoes like these type of LeBrons. These are PEs too, people. So when you hear people talk about the PE game, it don't have nothing to do with just basketball shoes. You know, like I've talked about this one before, Gary Payton, the glove. I ended the nice kick segment with this one. Kind of light. It is what it is though. I could have went mad harder on that, folks. Got that rip, 32. You're gonna see on them bubbles. I don't take that sticker off but I wear the hell out of the shoe. <laughs> I enjoy my shoes, folks. I'll give the homie Shane some props for a little bit with his Revis, made for Shane Victorino. And I can't say really made, I don't, I don't know his shoe size. I think it's like a 10. So I'm sure his friends and family join or something like that, but here we go. I got another one. I mean, you know, they, <laughs> there's another one. I don't see, I don't see Khaled, I don't see Khaled doing this. That's all I'm saying. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see a lot of people talk. I got the best. <laughs> okay. Again, you're gonna see another one of them Irish joints. I collect these folks. It's not a it's not a myth. There's the away joint. To the one you saw over there. You know, it is what it is on this one. A lot of people will say, that's a bullshit shoe. That ain't nothing. This ain't this ain't that. Check what's that color right there? What month we in? Mm-hmm. Oops. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, you know. Gloria. Eyeballs. Ah. Uh, we're getting in a sticky situation right now. I don't know if we want to get into this territory. I may just put this down before it gets very derogatory right now. Very upset with that man. And I had mad respect for him. Another nice PE. A lot of people ain't seen. If you're into your foams, you got that phone? I know you got the one that has the reflective, blah, blah, blah. But you got that phone? No. Rajon Rondo. Bang, bang. They don't always have to be basketball sneakers for them to be PEs. What y'all know about this? I don't know about that. And I got Chester's for days. We can, we can go through here and Chester talk. You know what I mean? So, I mean... Come on, man. Come on, man. I'll stick with Kobe all the love in the world. That other KD, you can't. Golden State. There's more Josh Howards. You know, it is what it is, but you know, to me, it's knowing the back history on your kicks. If you don't know, you should know. I've said it many a times who this shoe's made for. I shouldn't have to keep telling people. Figure it out, and if you thought I quit, I'm gonna show you again, people. Did he quit? Mm. No, he didn't quit. Still a PE, folks. You know, don't think I quit my... He, oh, he, he fell off. Oh, he quit posting this. Oh, he quit that. Oh, he quit... Uh-huh. SVSMs. Uh-huh. 
And I got the away, home and away. But he fell off, right? And I want to see another person show me. I mean, I ain't trying to be rude, but it's cool to have inline product. We grew up on that. I think we all did. But show me this. It ain't gonna happen. You can't flip like I'm flipping through this stuff and just keep peeing it after peeing it after peeing it. It's not gonna happen because you're gonna run out. And I'm not, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going and keep going and keep going. And it's gonna make everybody mad and jealous in the end. I'll give it love just because of the colorway. I wanna throw this on the ground. Man. Follow me, people. We'll get into it for a moment. Like, I ain't mad right now. I'm just, I'm getting real. It is what it is, folks. What do you wanna see? What you ain't seen before? When it gets to these PEs, to me, the best crafted ones were obviously back in the day. I've got some, to me, that are near and dear to my heart. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you over here real quick. I'm gonna show you a couple. Let's get it. To me, like, it's not the originator of PEs, but I think the originator of hype for PEs. That's gonna be that man right there. So, a lot of people don't even understand. They're gonna be like, who is that? I don't even know who that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, I mean, you better learn. Cause she'll teach you. You know, ball don't lie. That's all I'm gonna say. So, you see the patent joint? Ball don't lie. The 30 definitely don't lie, folks. There's four pair down here that are near and dear. Another patent joint. The very first one I showed you was an all leather joint. An all leather joint. You don't see too many of these. These are old school. You ain't gonna see no other collector pull these out either. Vince Carter's. He had one of the illest logos, if you ask my opinion, to be put on a sneaker. So on these, on these Vince Carter's, when it comes to uh, my opinion on these shoes, the leather, you can see how it moves, folks. There's nothing holding that shoe there, but you see how it comes back every time? Every time. What, what's going on there? That's good leather, that's why. The reason why you don't get it is because it costs a lot of money to make. But when they start putting it on some of these sneakers that you guys are bitching about, what happens? You don't want to pay the price tag. You tell me, fam. You know, two PEs that I can hit up, up here real quick that aren't really talked about too often is definitely the Woven 7. Uh, the Woven 7 is a, is a is a joint that's, it's just a shoe you don't see too often. And it's a PE, you know. It's not a shoe that was really made to be put on the, on the Hardwood Classic to be actually played on ball ball. But crafted well, 360 bubble, the woven material, all black out. Only thing they forgot is the eyelet. They chrome the eyelet, fam. Come on, man. So I'm going to step over real quick. But uh, a little secret right here. As you can see. Mm. We're gonna go back in the day, folks. Talk about back to the future. As you can see, these are a little bit more pristine, newer look-see boxes. When it comes to these PEs, I don't think I really need to pick up a whole lot of them, but I am gonna pick this one up. You know, again, I showed a lot of Air Force Ones down there, but this one here, folks, the leather on the inside is so crazy on these shoes. Look at how it just ripples, right? It's so nice to wear these sockless with socks. It don't matter. Everyone knows about these G-Towns. They've heard about them. They've seen them. I've worn them many a time. They're not beat. They still flop back and forth. Sprayed with Crep Protect. So, it is what it is. Again, beautifully crafted sneaker with that nice suede hints they put on their shoes. Or they're killing it. So, And they hit it with the nice, I guess you want to call that the Hoya print. You know, so big ups to the Hoyas, man. And of course it goes down, Marquette's on the bottom. You got the UNC's and you got the matching twos. Now, a lot of people are after these sneakers. Now, they, these are the ones they want. These are gems, don't get me wrong. You can acquire these, more power to you. But when you can acquire stuff like this, when you start getting into this league, it's a whole different category. No, this ain't LeBron's SVSM. It's Donovan McNabb's. And no, there ain't no cleats on it. Rare? Oh yes, very rare. Beautiful pattern, beautiful leather, and look at the creases. But watch them just move around. That's what I love about these old shoes. And again, you got the yellowing happening like it's supposed to. Yeah, there's some cracking on that sole. You better believe it, because they've been worn. Your boy got them and wears them. I don't put them up on a shelf. And yeah, they're in a pretty box right now. 
Don't let that fool you. Steve Harvey done told you. We into the 12 season right now with all this OVO talk and all this. So we'll get into this one. Again, another beautifully crafted sneaker. I mean, the way they hit the, the Nubuck or Nubuck. I don't, I don't know how to say that correctly. So I believe it's Nubuck. So the way they hit the Nubuck on this shoe is it's, it's deadening. It's this, <laughs> it, this is a killer shoe. The dirty bread is what everyone called those 11s. Well, I wonder where they got the inspiration from. I am privileged to own this shoe because I've only seen one other person. I'll take that back. Two other people with this sneaker beside myself. I ain't seen too many people with these. Now these are gems, folks. I don't give a crap if it's worth $400 or $100 or $4,000. Look at the quality craftsmanship put into these sneakers, man. The liners on the inside. Jordan staring at you. I know you see it, folks. Don't get scared. I promise you, you ain't seen these. Show me them. You know, again, <clears throat> just like on the fours. Sneakers all inside there. Perfect pair. Always talking about some laser sneakers. I wonder why. Could it be one of his favorite things about shoes? It could be. I like embossments. I like logoing. I like things that, that are just different. You don't see me pulling that out. I'm not going to. It may be certain people's favorite sneaker. To me, it's, it's not my favorite sneaker, and it's definitely not a PE. Olympic, Bibby. I've got the jersey down in there too, the USA jersey that goes with it. You show me any of these shoes, and if any of you guys really know what era these shoes are from, you'll know that all this is all bad on every single one of them. You ain't never seen a shoe this clean in your life when it comes to these older sneakers. Look how white. Come on, man. I ain't hit these with no crap. No, this ain't. These ain't even been worn yet by me. Special occasion. So, special occasion alert. This is one of my favorites when it comes to the bibbies because I ain't never seen nobody with this one. You know, um, a beautifully crafted shoe. And you can see, this is a leather joint, folks. That's leather sewn in to it. So you got sewn in crafted leather. Very hard to find. That three don't lie. I hit Peach Jam in a LeBron. Anybody seen that Peach Jam? Most people have, no, I some people have, some people haven't. To me, this is a high quality crafted shoe. Again, not just because it's a sample. I like the outsole being translucent. I like the hits of the orange with the khaki kind of wood grain going through it. I can't wait to wear it and put it on the gram. Again, SVSMs on the 13s. Don't think I'm out the game. I told y'all. I just ain't paying crazy prices because Perfect Pair says no to crazy resellers. These people are hitting me up correctly now and I'm getting correct prices for correct things. So shout outs to people, you know who you are. I ain't gonna say your name. Now, to me, this is another one of those fine quality crafted shoes that a lot of people just don't get to see, you know, unless you go to sneaker shows or, you know, you're not gonna just see this sitting in your corner stores. Me being the, the dancer, you know what I'm saying? The graffiti hits, I love it. So this is one that, it's not a PE, but I gotta talk about it real quick, just because it's one of my favorite sneakers. And everyone's gonna be like, well, he just got a three. That's all it is, just a three. Just a three, huh? Mm. Leather, not glue. I know what y'all's three smell like, and I know what my three smell like that I have that I actually wear these shoes. Inside liner, completely different. The everything about the shoe, the paint, different. The back, different. This, different. The reason why I say it's different is because why? I got 17 pair of these damn shoes and none of them look like this or this high quality. And everyone says, you, you need to buy, buy, buy. Well, it is what it is. I didn't spend a lot of money. I spent less on this pair than I did on those ones all those resellers sold me for five and $700. Do your research and you get better stuff. Back at them again. Got them purple joints and we don't pour up. <laughs> I don't do drugs, folks. Say no to drugs. So we're gonna step into a world right now, folks. This is, this is my favorite, well, second favorite of my PEs. When the Ray Rays come out, and these ain't no foo-foos, these ain't no 11s ring ceremonies that some certain people got. I ain't calling y'all out. Anyway, we're gonna get into this. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Oh yes, 
Mm-hmm. I mean, do I need to do a review? Or you just want me to keep this <laughs> having shoe sex? <laughs> because that's what it feels like, folks. I'm keeping it real right now. Like, come on, man. As I've always said, LeBron's a winner. And this is one of my favorite Air Maxes, period. And Bucks, right here, staring at you. You know, my brother wore this shoe. I'm proud of my brother for wearing this shoe, too. I've worn it one time since he did. You know, to me, when I saw Lewis wearing his shoe, I put a smile on my face. To know that the satisfaction he got from wearing Ray Allen sneaker, you know, so. I've taken these shoes with me also to Kicklahoma. And had him on stage for Jump Bostic. You know, it was cool to see the face of the man, uh, you know, 50 year old man, grown folk. And to see what I could bring to this man just by bringing these sneakers was heartfelt for me. You know what I mean? To see the smile, the, the pure joy that he had by just holding and looking at these shoes. And that's what this is about, folks. I'm not buying this for a flex. I buy these shoes and my brother bought these shoes because we enjoyed having PEs and things that people just didn't have. Anyone can have inline shoes as long as you got 200 bucks, but not anyone can have those shoes because there's only a few of them in the world. So we'll move right on down to another Ray Allen. And you know, I believe this is from his supersonic days. I may get crushed and say it was from his Celtic days. I really don't care. Point is, high quality craft at 12. And when you throw Ray on it, it's all day, baby. That's all I can say, so I'm buying them. You can see how I keep my 13s, folks. If you want to, all right, I'm giving away my secret now. You ready? When you wanna keep those holograms correct, never remove them. House of Hoops release, my size, not a PE, but it is a PE that was made for Ray Allen. Got the Ray 8, Sugar Ray Ray. And no, he ain't no fighter. He used to play play on the court, dog. Point is, this dude right here, like I said, man, silky smooth. Just like the liner of this crazy eight. When I pulled this one out for John Bostic, he went crazy. That's all I'm saying. He fell off the stage. His favorite sneakers are the eights. Crazy eight. So again, Ray Ray's. Every one of these shoes I'm showing you are all size 14. That's Ray's size. If I was sitting here showing you these shoes in size 11, you need to run. 10 and a half, you need to run because they fake, fam. Anybody who thinks they're gonna get one of these shoes in a 10 and a half? That's all I'm gonna say. So anyway, Boston away, Boston home, homework. Another one of them supersonic joints. Not saying this is a pretty shoe to look at in the first place, but that right there does it for me. And a lot of people, I hear Olympic. Olympic senses, Olympic senses, Olympic sixes, huh? Do people know where that really came from? Did Michael Jordan make them Olympic sixes? Nah, Ray Allen did, come on, man. And they're right here. And that's the Olympic for Ray. And then this is why it's nicknamed the Olympic six. Now the history fact for you, and no, I didn't pull that from Google. <laughs> because I don't think you can pull that from Google. History known behind sneakers is always wonderful, but stories are better. And the stories that this man could tell with this sneaker, boy, if I was a fly on the wall, I'd love to be there when they're being told. This is my Ray Allen edition. I'm gonna close it down right here and I'm gonna move on to a <sighs> the actual gym gems of my PE collection. Again, <clears throat> we're gonna get into something real quick. A lot of hype going around about Stitch 45. What about a stitch 23? Anybody know about that? Or how about an adjusted toe box on the 11? Most people don't, why? Because they ain't never seen it. I'm actually gonna pull out another 11 here and I'm gonna show you the difference, folks. You see it now? There was a reason they did this. They did this for Michael Jordan because he likes to drag that toe. So they were trying to find a different spot for him because he was ruining the front part of the sneaker to make a better spot for him to drag his feet or pivot from. He didn't like it. They were scrapped. Right side only. There's no left side shoe to this, folks. So again, there's your difference. And this is one of my Grail PEs right here, man. Come on, Michael Jordan's Columbia? Come on, dog. Just well-crafted sneakers, man. It's hard to find that stuff nowadays. And Thank you, that's all I can say. So we'll start with my least favorite. 
Kaisa's favorite. This is the 3 8 pack. Friends and family. My understanding. What Kobe did in these shoes was amazing. And for him to be a Jordan Brand athlete back in the day was phenomenal. These was when he had the number eight on his chest, folks. This is when he was fro afro. You know what I mean? The fro Kobe. Fro Kobe was the best Kobe. That's when he was dunking on people, moving like Mike, juking like Mike, and doing what Mike did in these shoes. I think that's why he wanted shoes like Mike. Everyone wanted to be like Mike, didn't they? Don't get me wrong, it's very well crafted sneaker. Great hints, and come on man, I mean, quality everywhere on this shoe. Great leather. We'll move on to my favorite of the pack. <sighs> come on man, come on man. And Khaled had these before I did. He can't show you none of this other stuff I've shown you. Yeah, that's called because he knew booty, that's why. Old school could show you old school, and there's a reason why. New booty gonna show you new booty. That's all I can say. And he probably didn't have to pay for his. So now it's time. As I rub my hands together with a very evil grin upon my face. It is time, my folks. Kobe Pack's cool. The Rays were cool. Ducks are cool. But Rich Mitchell was cooler, man. That's all I can say. Rich was doing his thing. So that's 95. So these are old PEs, and that's what I'm gonna get into right now. Well-crafted old PE. You see this shoe falling apart? No, I can put it on right now. It is crafted correctly. There's a couple two shoes over here I'm gonna show you. I could wear them, but I won't. I'm not that stupid. Come on, man, come on. Oh, I don't mean to flip you off like that camera, so. <laughs> All right, hey, come on, fam, with the twos. Come on, folks. This is from 1997. And I'm gonna show you something real quick with these high quality crafted shoes. You're still gonna see it flip. This shoe was made from Michael Jordan. Crafted from Michael Jordan. This is Michael Jordan's PE. This is Michael Jordan's Hair 7. I could wear this shoe right now. It's as firm as the day it was made. I would, would refer to something right now, but there's kids watching, so I'm gonna keep it real, real PG-like. And hey, I could wear it, but why would you wanna mess that up? Fam, that's from 92. Some of you weren't even born yet. This is probably my most prized coveted when it comes to actual Michael Jordan P's. And the reason why I say that is I used to draw this shoe in my seventh grade year. It's a Carmine 6. You don't see me speechless too often. And you're gonna see that same buttery movements going on through this cherry Carmine red. Did sixes come with lace locks? They didn't, did they? Hmm. They just came with this piece here right down at the bottom or up here right do people know why that's on this shoe I'll tell you why because when Michael Jordan wore his sixes he wore them with a five lace lock do your math that's all I'm gonna say folks this is my favorite favorite of my collection and I was blessed with these shoes from a very very well-known collector that collects nothing but sixes that's all I'm gonna say and he blessed me with a non-signed 100% authentic, dead stock, OG, 1991 PE made from Michael Jordan. So, I've always talked about these. These are PEs worn by Michael Jordan, signed by the whole team, Phil Jackson on the toe. The back pair were a practice pair that he wore also that same season. We can move on to the last shots. A lot of people say these aren't the last shots. I hear, I hear this a lot, like, there's no way he could have that shoe. I'm sorry to hurt your feelings, but I do. The way we acquired these shoes, I know what they are. I know who signed them. I know how they got signed. Point is, again, last shot signed by Michael Jordan on both shoes. And he straight writes on the shoe. MVP, M NBA, 1998, finals MVP. Michael wrote that on both shoes. And for him to do that is unheard of. He only signs normally the left shoe of anything he ever signs. He will never sign both sneakers. So that'll tell you there was a significant reason why he did that. And this PE is gonna be the last one I'm gonna show you because everyone likes the damn thing. That's just the best way to say it. Yes, you see it still on my brother's box. You see my infamous black pair on my black box. My brother's still wearing these shoes. Yes, I wore them one time for a certain reason to my brother's show, to a friend of my brother's show. He had a little, little sneaker show. And so I showed up with these on. Only way for me, Lewis, to walk through there is to have a pair of his sneakers on my feet. 
only made sense to wear these. There's reasons why I do what I do. It's not for a flex. I think about stuff, folks. And again, you see them sitting on top of Lewis's box. So we'll leave it like that. That's my PE edition. I hope you guys have, you know, really liked what you saw. If you didn't like what you saw, I'm sorry. I'll try better next time. Peace out. This is Perfect Pair for Perfect Pair Fridays.